Alright guys, in today's video, playing some Lorcana. I've been playing as much Lorcana because, um, you know, again, it's suffering from having so few sets out that the meta is getting solved within a month, basically. And, um, you know, there's little fine tunings here and there, but nothing, you know, super crazy happening. So, the really fun part about card games to me is, like, the the deck building and, and um, you know, games that have a sideboard really tune in that. So, the fact that this game doesn't have a sideboard, uh, at least... Not yet, anyway. Um, and the fact that there's so many, so few sets really, uh, you know, uh, gets them at us all very quickly. But yeah, I'm playing my favorite deck. Uh, it's been I've been playing Ruby Amethyst since the game came out. I went with uh, four mini, four Olaf because not having a one drop really weakens this deck's um, strength. And then we have uh, three Teeth and Ambition and four Madam Mim Snake as our only two drops. And then we have uh, mini on three along with uh, Friends on the Other Side, Fox Madam Mim, of course, and Maleficent, and now also uh, Merlin. Been playing this for a while. I finally see that other people are starting to do this as well. And it's mainly, for me, it was to buff this so I can crash it with my um, opponents and you know get a favorable and deal with their elusive. Also, turning these into uh, one-drops that attack for four is really, really powerful. And... Um, we have uh, two books. This is like the one thing I'm still not sure about in the deck. I don't. I, sometimes I just want to play four Ursula, but um, the book is really good for reach. So, not not convinced on that yet. And then we run uh, four Merlin Goat, four Merlin Rabbit, two Isma, which is another card that kind of underperforms a lot. So, this could potentially be something else. So it's really the amount of this I run and the amount of book I run is like the only thing really left to, uh, to solve here. And then we've got uh, three Maui. Two Lady Tremaine, four Be Prepared, of course, and then we've got uh, three Maleficents, so let's see how it goes. Do -do. Wow, this is really strong. Holy crap. Me likey. Man, if I was going first. Okay, we got a mirror match. <clears throat> I'm going to play the cuter version. I wonder if they're going to play two drop them. No, okay. That's actually good for me. I'm hoping they're not the Arthur version, because that's harder for me to deal with. Our other version doesn't usually run teeth, though, right? Nah, they're, they gotta be control, right? I'll gladly two for one with Madame Mim, so... Uh, four... They can bounce one of these for Madame Mim Fox. I don't think it's worth questing here. I think we just take our draw two, as weird as that seems. I don't hate it. Okay. Now, if they quest out, I will take one of them with me, obviously. I'll probably actually end up hitting two, because I'll play... Um... Alright, that's fine. I'll play Mini and uh, Madam Mim. I don't really need to rabbit right now. Okay, they're getting a little greedy. Obviously attacking the Maleficent because it can sing. 
uh, better things, so. Okay. Is he just gonna quest? Okay. I was like, that'd be really weird. Maybe he's gonna bounce this with Fox. Oh, he's got a Maui, okay. That's fine. Alright. Try and clean up. I can try and draw a little bit later. I'm hoping the Ursulas and the books win me the game. More so the books. I'm hoping that they don't run it. Okay. Okay. I want to see if I can get a non inkable. I was trying to get not this specifically. Um, I'll ink one. I need to just draw, right? Okay. Okay, maybe ink and then fox mem. I didn't want to Lady Tremaine, because then they can just Lady Tremaine me back. I'm, I'm sensing a Fox Mim here. No? Interesting. I really wish I had a Prince. I really wish I could kill the goat. This is really dumb how many non-inkables I'm drawing. I probably should have inked the mini, actually. There's the friends. Singing friends is so strong. Now, if he wants to be prepared, I don't care. And if he doesn't want to be prepared, that's also good with me. Okay. Is he just going to try and race? I don't know if that's going to work. But we'll see. Alright, so... This is obvious, because I don't want them to keep drawing. Okay, now I could crash both of these here and then Lady Tremaine. I think I like that. And that way he can't Lady Tremaine me either, and if he wants to skip a turn to be prepared, he gives me tempo. And I'll probably just play the rabbit in this afterwards. Let's get rid of this. I don't want to want it. Take it back. I'm going to need to draw a lot more cards. So, if he inks and be prepared, he's got four cards left. Okay. Wow, okay. So, yeah, he's just trying to get me to commit to the board. So, let's sing... Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna play the Maleficent into the Be Prepared, but then he's gonna give me tempo back. So it's I think it's gonna be okay. Also, he's not inking anymore. So he's gonna be kind of behind on that on that front. Yeah, that's not surprising to anybody. 
Okay. If I draw a small character, I'll play that and the rabbit. Uh, I did not. Maybe I just should do this, though. Excellent. Mm. Do I play this, or... I think I do. Let's draw three cards. Okay. Now, if they want a Lady Tremaine, my Yzma, that's kind of underwhelming. If they want an Ink and Maleficent, that's also kind of underwhelming. Okay. Oh, sure. Do not care about that. Alright, here we go. Um, let's drop a bomb. Okay. I'm not really interested in adding to the board anymore. Alright, now I have my book. Um, Maui's never been great in the matchup, I don't think. I mean, what am I scared of? Now, this is this is correct, because if they be prepared again, I just don't care. And they're... So, like, if they ink and be prepared, I don't care. Sure, sure. And then be prepared. It feels be prepared-y. Yeah. Do not care. Okay. So... Let's get this online. I was kind of hoping to get a one drop, but that'll work too. All right, and we're way ahead on cards. I mean, this is insane. That is a fantastic use of Lady Tremaine. If you pass after this, that's really, really bad. No way you pass, right? You have to play something. Okay, I'll gladly hit either one of those, though. I want to see what they do. I think that's more important. Okay. Now, if they have a goat, that's kind of sad for me, but... I have an Ursula to slow things down a bit. Okay, obviously I'm going to go with Rabbit. This can kill Arthur. Yeah, you can bounce it all you want. Okay. Now what? Okay. So let's do the obvious thing in quest. Um, I can actually... I can play this and Ursula, but that feels like a bit much. So I'm actually just gonna play the Tremaine and just play another rabbit. Gonna play the rabbit first, though. Okay, now we ink. And I'm gonna start playing and bouncing Ursula a bunch, I think. Actually, if that's the case, I'm gonna use this instead so I can have uh, cheaper combos in the future. 
Okay. Two more ink, I'll be able to play Ursula twice in the same turn, so. I gotta say, that's not very uh, effective there. He knows I have a Tremaine, so he's gotta play the Arthur and then sack one. Um, and actually, next turn, I can Maleficent and Lady Tremaine for, for game, basically. Um, because even if he be prepared to me, it's just. Too much of a tempo loss. Um, I just simply don't need this. So yeah, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. Yeah, and even if he has be prepared, it just doesn't matter. It'll be the third one anyway, but even if he does, it, it doesn't matter. Sure. Okay, I've got lethal on board, so he's got to kill something. Okay, or he could just give me the victory, I guess. That works too. Does he? Does he? Does he see it yet? Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Madam M. So now I have to uh, get another book or a goat, and I win anyway. And I, I can dig as well. But I'm not going to do that, though. I'm just going to play it safe, I think. I mean, this is digging anyway, but... Okay, there's an Yzma... Very nice. That was an extremely long game. I just checked. It was 15 minutes. So, hopefully this one doesn't take quite so long. Um, yeah, so in typical uh, control fashion, and a lot, and well, I grew as well in this game. Just putting back the non inkables. I should say in typical Lor uh, Lorcana fashion, fashion, right? It's uh, just something you should do all the time, pretty much. Unless the non inkables like essential to your strategy, like Pinocchio or something. I'm going first, okay. Well, if my opponent would decide what they want to mull, that would be fantastic. What do I want to ink? That's the question. Probably that. Ooh, a hook. Interesting. Um, I think this is an Olaf and pass turn, unfortunately. Um, I really hope this is not the flute deck. The flute deck's really hard to deal with. But it probably is, right? All right, I mean, the flu deck doesn't typically run hook. That's what threw me off. Okay, I mean, I don't... I don't find any of this particularly impressive. Um, these all die to uh, sword, so I'll ink one, I guess. And then let's quest... And if they want to trade both hooks for a Madame Mim, I am more than happy. And then next turn, um, I'm either going to play Maleficent and Mini, or I'm going to ink the Mini, play the Goat. But either way, the turn after that, I'm going to sing. Um, why? Okay. That's really low tempo. Um, no Aerial, which is the most important thing. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do this, because I, I don't think the game is going to come down to me needing to burst to win. And next turn, if they... No, they can't even grab your swords because they don't have a singer. That's really weird to see. Um, I'm hoping I didn't just wasn't paying attention and they inked a different color. One was a Tinkerbell. Uh, 
I'm about to draw my butt off. Um, it doesn't feel like a whole new world deck because they're not, unless they just are drawing no singers. I don't know. Going first against Steel is always a, an, an enormous advantage. Especially the Singer versions. Oh, okay, alright, it's its deck, okay. If, uh, if they ink something purple, I just wouldn't pay any attention. But, um, that's great for me. Yeah, he should have, uh, quested. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if he did or not, but he should have. Um. Yeah, so I don't care if it's a favorable. I really don't. Um. I'm going to continue to draw, but dropping the mini there was really tempting. Okay, this card's garbage in this matchup. Um, they already have a favorable, so I don't mind questing there. Because I was going to trade either one or the other into the... Yeah, exactly. So now I can trade the rabbit in, and who cares, right? Okay. Now this is the part where I really wish I had like a Madame Mim, but I don't, sadly. Uh, I'm actually gonna do this. This can uh this can sing good stuff later. Let's just uh let's just keep drawing here. Oh, I thought it was highlighting and telling me I could ink. I'm an idiot. I'm already one ink ahead. I thought it looked highlighted, so I was like, oh, I must not have inked. Not looking at the actual numbers. Yeah, I really didn't. I really did not want to um, play that. Obviously. So now the plan has to be just ramping out a bunch. Are you gonna give me the draw? Oh, you're the best. You are the best. Thank you very much. Yes, another non-inkable I don't care about. Okay, I'm getting them off of drawing an extra card because that's really, really bad for me. My goodness, all the B prepares, eh? Oh, brutal. You can't play one thing against this deck. Uh, mine only runs two, but there's a lot that run three and four, so I just think that's really, really bad play. And then if he tries to, like, Elsa it or something... Oh, no, he's not even on... Um, he didn't ink last turn. That seems really, really, really greedy. Oh, sure. Yeah, cycle for half your turn. Oh, yeah. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to ink a Maleficent, obviously, and I'm not going to ink the goat. So, I think this is a very easy... Should be an easy win. If they, also, if they wheel or something, um, it's definitely over. They'll just give me too much gas. Uh, sure. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just scooped at this point. Which is fine with me, because the first game was so long. And this is where decks without V prepared, they just can't do anything. So. I mean, they're on a two-turn clock already. I think this might be them considering scooping now. Once the board gets away from you, when you're playing control, it's, I mean, playing against control, I mean. Is this like an Elsa attempt? 
yeah, good grief. Just delaying the inevitable. Why would you lock this when you know that, like, I would love to bounce it? Seems silly. I'm not gonna ink anymore. I'm just so far ahead. I don't think I need to. I'm just gonna hold on to my cards. Sure, dude. I'm not in a hurry. I thought for a second maybe you had like a, just a train of Elsa. Sure. I think I should have considered goat dying. So hopefully I don't end on 19. I will end on 19, so if I had actually done this, I win, and I bounce, and then they just scoop anyway after wasting a bunch of time, so gotta love that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.